Kourtney Kardashian might currently be engaged, and Justin Bieber married to the love of his life, but they seem to have something binding them together. Did Justin father Kourtney's third child? What has Kourtney said about Rain's biological dad? TikTok star Paige McCloskey recently brought back years-long speculations of Justin Bieber being the actual father of Kourtney's third child, Rain, and not Scott Disick. I just want to preface this by saying I love the Kardashians, I love Justin Bieber, please don't sue me, this is just a theory," she said, right before getting into the details of the video. McCloskey backed up her theory with a little walk down memory lane, analyzing the timeline of Courtney's third pregnancy. Speaking in the video, Paige cited Rain's birthday as December 14, 2014, meaning he had to have been conceived sometime in March of that year. Now, this might not originally have been a big deal, except that Courtney and Scott were reportedly going through tough times around March 2014. According to Paige, sometime around March 2014, there were reports of Scott partying a lot, going out with other people, and basically not doing what he was supposed to be doing as a partner to Courtney. If you watched Keeping Up With The Kardashians, you would know that Courtney's last pregnancy was probably her toughest, as Scott was noticeably absent for the most part of it. Paige suggests this could be because Scott and Courtney had actually separated before the pregnancy and had both seen other people for a while. If Scott was out and about with models, who was Courtney seeing at the time? Some believe it was Justin Bieber. You should know that Bieber's relationship with the Kardashians dates back to 2010 when he did a photo shoot with Kim in the Bahamas. He has since remained friendly with the famous family should we say, a little too friendly. In December 2015, multiple sources confirmed that Courtney had in fact been hanging out with the pop star for months. Justin started hanging out with Courtney alone because she started going out more. He's been showing her a good time, one source revealed to US Weekly. At the time the news of Courtney and Bieber's relationship broke, the reality star had been single for a while after finally ending things with Scott a few months back in July 2015. So really, when Courtney was seeing Bieber, it was no big deal. Well, except for the wide age gap. But apart from that, there was nothing too suspicious about it. Until 2016, when rumors of a fourth pregnancy started making rounds. Sometime around April 2016, multiple outlets reported that Courtney was pregnant with her fourth child. The question of who fathered the child was, however, the most controversial question. Though they had been separated for a while at the time, Scott was allegedly trying to get himself back in Courtney's good books with the hope of a reconciliation. This, of course, made him the potential baby daddy. The tricky part, however, was that Courtney and Justin Bieber were still hanging out a lot, leading many to believe that the then 22 year old singer was the father. According to a Starcast, an article published by Morning Ledger revealed that Scott felt rather awkward about Courtney's fourth pregnancy because he saw it as her way of getting back at him. Why would he think his partner was trying to punish him with a child unless something fishy was going on? This suggests that Scott probably doubted the paternity of the baby, and maybe not only this, as he seemingly also had his suspicions about Rain. Responding to Paige's video, one fan revealed that Courtney refused to get a paternity test done on Rain when Scott asked. The fan wrote, It was also reported in December 2017 that Courtney refused to do a DNA test when Scott had suspicions. The comment references an exclusive article in In Touch Weekly in December 2017 claiming that Scott's biggest fear was that Rain was not his biological child. A source told the outlet that Scott initially had no doubts about Rain being his child, but as he grew, it became more obvious that they looked nothing alike. What really got under Scott's skin is when family members said that Rain didn't look like him, says the insider. Penelope and Mason are dead ringers for Scott, but Rain looks more like Courtney, a source said at the time. It also did not help that there were several times in their relationship that Courtney and Scott broke up and were away from each other. The insider pointed out whenever Courtney and Scott had an argument, she would go out of her way to make him jealous and seek revenge in any possible way. This often included partying with her friends and many of her male pals. However, the most suspicious part of the article was when the source confirmed that Courtney had indeed refused to get a DNA test done for Rain after Scott confronted her. She outright denied that Rain could be someone else's, the source said. During the heated bust up, Scott brought up doing a DNA test. Courtney said no, which has only heightened his suspicions. Well, we would be suspicious too. If Scott is Rain's father, why not just get a DNA test to kill any fears or doubts he might have had? Well, maybe that was her own subtle way of saying, yeah, you're not the father. Of course, Courtney's fourth pregnancy turned out to be completely untrue, but Scott still had doubts about whether or not he was Rain's dad. 
can't say we blame him. While many fans have come to Justin's defense saying there is no way he would have had a child and not be in his life, Paige seems to believe the Kardashians could have struck up a deal with the singer. I totally agree, but I do feel like Courtney and the family could have worked a deal with Justin because they knew how that would have looked. Paige wrote in response to one of the comments. Knowing the lengths the Kardashian Jenner clan would go to protect their image, this is not so far-fetched. They could have paid off Justin or, better still, hidden the truth from him. It's also very noteworthy that Rain is the only Disick child that was hidden away from the public after he was born. It was not until four months after his arrival that Courtney first shared pictures of him on social media. What was she trying to hide? Maybe the uncanny resemblance between the newborn and Justin at the time? You never know. Another theorist in the comments section of Paige's video suggests that Justin started hanging out with Courtney around December 2015 because the singer won Wanted to be around for Rain's first birthday, which kind of makes sense. If he was not allowed to be there for the baby's birth, the least he could have done was to be present at his first birthday, right? Speaking of birthdays, Justin's 20th birthday was on March 1st, 2014, and seeing that he had known the Kardashians long before then, it's not impossible that he spent his big day with Courtney that year. And remember that with Rain's birthday falling in December, he was most likely conceived in March. So yeah, Justin could very well be his dad. In her video, Video, Paige also did a side-by-side -side comparison of Justin's baby pictures and Rain's baby pictures. And well, let's just say we do see some resemblance. But while some are still yet to be convinced about Rain's paternity, many others are certain that he is not Scott's son. Whether or not Rain is his biological son, Scott still has two beautiful kids with Courtney, so he didn't exactly lose. If it turns out to be true, there's no saying just how painful this could be. Still, for the hope of all parties involved, we hope Scott is truly Rain's father. Imagine growing up to find out your dad is not really your dad. Sure would suck. Do you think Justin could really be Rain's dad? Was Courtney right to have refused a DNA test? Let us know what you think in the comments section. Thank you for watching and see you next time.